Of course, clanging on the metal is not what I was after. I wanted Garrett to jump so that he could land as far away from this guy as possible. <laughs> well, I dropped it to a green alert that time. I hear it no longer. I'll take a green alert. We can't supreme the mission anyway, so... I'm not all that worried about it. I admit I didn't even bother with this in my practice run, I just... It didn't look as hard as it seemed when I was actually recording, and... Indeed, it hasn't been that hard, but... Of course, now, now is the time where we have to get all the way to the top to get the last one. <laughs> Just trying to remember the exact spots where I went before that convinced Garrett mantling was a good idea. He's tough to convince sometimes, I swear. The guy just doesn't like to mantle. He'd rather jump. Guess he's just exuberant. So we can get up here, right to the uh, drop point from before, without much trouble. Oh, good lord. How, how, how does it figure that's metal? I just landed on wood. Ah, well. This is what I get for deciding to take on extra challenges. <coughs> I did tear thee this time. Come on. Landing on wood, just like I did before. Maybe the game feels like I'm adding insult to injury by systematically disarming all of these sentries. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Well, I've made it back here. I think what I need to do next is get Garrett to mantle onto that catwalk. If I jump and land, it'll alert everyone in the room, like these metal landings always do. There's no handy silent edge like there was when we were playing with the dark engine so <laughs> let me let me scope out the rest of the shaft before i commit to this side Well, yeah, I can't really get anywhere else. There's no point in hoarding lots of cash, says the training tip. What do I have now? 25,000? Close to it. <laughs> I guess before I even try to be quiet, I should just verify that 
number one, Garrett can make the jump, and number two, it's worth it to make the jump. Because if those two things are true, then I can find a way to do it quietly, I'm sure. Who has made that noise? I have to let myself jump at naught. <laughs> what sound does come? Ah, it is naught but peace. <sighs> Who made is that noise? Is it something? No. Wait a minute. What's up here? Don't worry, folks. I'm gonna reload. I know these are all busts. I'm just doing some experiments I shall here. Find thee. Count on that. There's around here somewhere. Tis a poor trick, this brother, and not seemly. Noise that gave you away. Must it continue so? It's around here somewhere. <laughs> okay, yep. So if I do make it onto that platform, then I can get to this one, and from here, one way or the other, I can get back to the central platform. Again, it doth vex me so. All right, all right, all right. Uh, beginning to formulate a plan here. Oh no. I accidentally hit both buttons, so... No worries, I already have the coins at least. Can't believe I accidentally hit the quick save button. That's just terrible. See, did I already get the water arrow? Yes, I did, but... Uh, I got a douchebag green alerting up above me. Well, let's try again. Let's not make any noise this time, if we can help it. Get the fire arrow before I forget. And make my way over here. Let's just work on getting all the way back to the top first. Garrett's flying. Alright, I got my moss arrow. Ah, 
Garrett. Yep, looks like we got this going on again. Alright, I need to think about how best to try and get to that catwalk. All this just to add a couple points to the pickpocket total, but... I am a completionist, what can I say? Okay. <laughs> I won't lie to you viewers. This is beginning to annoy me, but... I know there's got to be a good way back to the top. <sighs> Who does dare approach me? I see a sound. My sins be changed. Thou shalt. Oh, I thought Garrett might attach to the wall and climb instead of you know, dropping down and <laughs> clanging and getting owned like he did. I wonder... Hey. Okay, well I can get on to it that way. may just have to use a moss arrow here. See so if I can silence the catwalk and then land on it. Then I should be fine. I heard. I heard. I feel like it may be possible to drop all the way on there without uh without the moss arrow. Get Garrett all the way up. I hear thou there. Now we have to ask ourselves, is it worth a moss arrow? I'm going to vote yes. We already can't supreme it, but we might as well get everything. Of course, I don't know if that mossed what I wanted it to. Nope. Let's try again. I should have just stuck with my plan to skip these, but... 
I know at least a couple of commenters who would have had some snark for me if I did. Alright, that I think got the job done. So... Yes, good. Now from here... Uh-oh. <coughs> That, of course, is not what was intended, <laughs> but uh, ever closer. That's what we're getting. Closer and closer to the goal. We're up to the next level, and I happen to know he can make this jump. <laughs> now, despite the fact that this one is shorter, I have never gotten him to mantle it. Or even make it. Ah! I guess it's too close for him to hit that sweet mantling range. So maybe if I jump from farther back on the platform. This is as good a place as any to make another real save. Let's try again. Okay, that was too far back. Okay. Yeah, he just won't mantle. Of course, you know by now that this is by no means the end of the inquiry. We can open this door. We can get there the other way. We can bring this elevator down, ride it up. And then we can climb down the ladder, same as we did before, and we'll be back at the top. Now that was perfect timing. Absolutely perfect. I don't want to spoil it. Garrett sure does, though. But he won't. Alright. Alright, we're back to the top. Now I am gonna do a real save. And I should be able to go after the top level priest. I think I'm gonna have to just try and jump all the jump to his railing from here. What do y'all think? <laughs> Looks that way. He did the lurt, which is good. But I don't know. I don't know about making the jump. Of course we can't get any higher than this, so. What sound dust come? Hmm. Mine ears doth mistake me then. Oh, I'll take a green alert, douche hat. Someone has taken my wand. Tis unacceptable. All right. <laughs> we'll drop his wand with our good friend the glitch. Now, of course, I need to find my way down. Hmm? What was that? Oh. I cannot find now what twas I saw. The southern guy. <laughs> yeah, I think I can avoid that first alert from the southern guy. Green alert, rather. Then I can just 
climb down and be at the bottom. Good. All right, all right. I just need to get the bottom guy again because you might remember I effed up and had to reload a much earlier save. But I figured out how to get him a while ago, so shouldn't be much of a problem. <laughs> Just wait for the homes here to get nice and far away. That should be good. Do a real save here at the bottom with two out of three of the pickpockets done. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I guess it's because I got used to going after all the pickpockets when uh, Thief 1 and Thief 2 tracked it. So now even though this game doesn't track it, I still feel compelled to seek them out. So the trick here was to get over while being under the metal, and we could creep down here, drop to his railing, and then drop down behind him, do the deed, wait for the alert. What? Who hath dared to steal from me? There we go. Okay. That's much better. Oh, if I feel good just having that done. Of course, I still need to get to the ground. I managed it with just a green alert, which I think is fine for my purposes here. <laughs> Who has made that noise? I hear it no longer. Good. All right. So there, I didn't skip the pickpockets. I managed to disarm them all at the cost of two first alert, uh, two green alerts, and a moss arrow. That's fine. We'll have our moss arrow carrying capacity maxed out before we leave the mission again, anyway. So with that, we're ready to hit the load zone and head to the lower clock tower. Now the lower clock tower has a couple of actual, true trouble spots that are difficult for me to get through. I'll let you know when we come to them. For now, you want to get to this window. Make sure you land on the wood when you jump, or Hammerites will hear you. And then, to get farther down, head to the wall and climb. Once you're down there, behind you is a chest, inside of which is a holy water and a gold coin worth 75 brings my total to 68%. When that's done, stick to this catwalk. Now I'm used to him patrolling. If he stays there this whole time, I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I can just get through this window. Okay, good. I was worried about that, but everything's fine. You want to drop down to that ladder, open this chest. I've not heard that before. Get the pile of gold coins I inside. Imagined it. They're worth 75, they bring my total to 71%. That guy will green alert when the chest is opened and closed. Now, we can't open either of these doors. He'll yellow alert if we do. 
So let's just get back to the wall and climb out the way we came in. I was worried to see that Hammerite standing right there, but we've got just enough shadow that he's not a problem. Thank goodness for that. So with that done, I'll real save. I get nervous when I see things that weren't there in my practice run. I'm sure you understand. So I'll just drop down here, I won't bother with the ladder. And then, head south. Just like that. Our supply of moss arrows is full again right here in the southwest corner. So that's awesome. Inside this room, there are a couple of things to do. There's a book to read. And then came the builder to the forge of the smith, and watched he and listened. Didst then the smith put an ingot upon his anvil, and lift his hammer. And didst then the builder breathe upon the ingot, that it became gold. Then didst the smith cry out, What hath become of my good and fine iron? How canst I forge a blade or a tool? This hath much worth, but no worthiness. And didst then the builder breathe upon the smith, that he lay down his hammer and his body. And didst come to stand by the right hand of the builder for all time. There's a fire arrow inside this torch, along with a graphics bug. Just past the priest, we can barely reach it, is a statuette called the Builder's Ingot. It's worth 50, brings my total to 73%. It's also the third piece of special loot, which completes the objective. Find at least three special loot items, three found. Lastly, get a pickpocket him. Did I lose? <gasps> Nay, must be a thief. I need to find a good spot to wait out this patroller. Oh, I guess I can just use the glitch right quick. So oh, I'll drop the wand and then I'll just keep heading counterclockwise. Past that little chapel. Knowing the patroller's way over there. We need to get into this little crawl space. Open it and just wait for the uh, clipping errors to work out right until we can grab the gold candlestick worth 75 brings my total to 76 percent then we need to get down the elevator which is over here I'll probably have to yeah let the patroller pass by All right. Once he's gone, you have to let him get far away because these metal doors are noisy. This one's a very simple right, left, left, right. Open it up. Close it behind you. And then write it down. So this is another very noisy door, so the smart thing to do is wait until you see the patroller and then see him leave and then come out. <laughs> 